After we knew why is testing important, we have to answer the question, what is software testing? The perception of testing that is handled with people outside the software field, if you ask someone that is not specialized in software development or testing, he will think that testing is just running tests, okay? You execute the software and you find defects, as easy as that. But this is part of testing. It is not all testing activities, okay? Testing activities exist before and after test execution. We have five activities, which we will discuss now. The third one of them is execution and implementation. So what are the objectives of testing? Why do we perform testing? The first objective, the first goal of testing, and the most important one is to find defects. We test to find defects so that the developers solve them. The second objective of testing is to gain confidence about the level of quality. I need to be sure that my software is good enough. I know that it's good enough, but I want to be sure. So I give it to the tester to make sure that it has a good level of quality. The third reason for testing is to provide information for decision making. You as a tester tell the stakeholder that we are ready to release or we are not ready. The last objective of testing is to prevent defects. If we review documents, if we design tests early, the defects will be minimized and will not happen or most of them will not happen. So these are the objectives of testing. Let's now understand the difference between debugging and testing. We talked about testing that it shows failures that are caused by defects. The developer made mistakes and I detected them as bugs or failures. When I handle this bug report to the developer, he performs debugging. So debugging is a development activity. The developer does debugging. It's not at the tester job, okay? Debugging is the development activity that finds, analyzes, and removes the cause of the failure. I told the developer that the software fails in this area. So he has to know why does it fail and remove the cause of the failure. I don't have to tell him why did the software fail. After the developer performs debugging, I perform retesting, okay? So that I ensure that he really resolved the failure that I told him about. So we can conclude this, testers test, testers perform testing, and developers debug, they perform debugging.